The first time I came to China was 2006, and I grew up in a very rural area of America where where were very big trucks, denim jeans, and I wouldn't say cowboy hats, but everybody wore their hat inside. The drinking culture is different, the eating culture is different, and what we eat for breakfast was really exciting, because suddenly cake was okay to eat. A chocolate bread was okay to eat for breakfast. I do love living in China. Every day is an adventure. Every day, and less and less so as there's more of a foreign influence, but every day there's somebody that's shocked that I can speak to them in their mother language. Every day is an adventure that I don't know what I'm going to see on the subway because of the differences in culture. I don't know what I'm gonna see on the street and I don't know really if I'm going to be trying something I've never eaten before. Every day has something new to, to kind of show me. I, I came to Beijing in, in 2006 and I studied here in 2008. It, it's been exciting to see Beijing grow. Uh, it has one of the largest business districts in China. And to see it go from a very traditional city to now is a very modern city, it's been very exciting. Mostly all of the changes I've made have been towards my routine, the time of the day I start. In America, I was very good at waking up at, at 11 a.m. and getting to work at noon, and, and now it takes about two hours to get ready for work. And it, it's nice to see Beijing wake up every morning and become alive. I really love getting on a train for the first time. America has a train transportation system. It's not very developed though. So to be able to hop on a train where you can actually lay down on a bed and then wake up and eat instant noodles and then go right back to sleep on the same train and spend more than a day on a train, that's pretty exciting. I made it a very important goal when I first got here to travel as much as, as possible. I've been to the, the south, the west, the east, and the north. China has 34 provinces, I've been to 22 of them. I love the hospitality industry because I can serve up a, a great dish and immediately see a smile. So it's very important to me that I'm communicating properly, that I'm making people smile. And it, it, it's difficult sometimes with, with a different language and a different culture. But you know, you overcome and you learn every day. The most important part about coming to China, as with going to any foreign country, is you have to come here with an open mind and you have to be willing to make a lot of cultural mistakes and, and don't hold yourself and don't be too hard on yourself when you make those mistakes. Because it is a different country and a different culture and a different history. So it's going to take some time to get used to it. Every day is an adventure, it really is. They have a Chinese saying, Guo Tin Guo Shuo. And if you can come here with an open mind and not assume that because we speak the same vocabulary, uh, you're, you're, you're going to really have a great time.